Hey, 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 all you glorious, amazing, beautiful, extravagant, whole and complete folks out there. Um, so I just real quick wanted to share my heart with you. Uh, tonight I was scrolling through my news feed and there was a section of my news feed where there was some 15 posts about folks who are struggling with illnesses or they're going through divorces or there's a friendship that's fallen apart or their children are sick or injured or uh, maybe their their child or their loved one has went wayward and is 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 doing all kinds of crazy stuff and there was just all this pain and heartache that I just saw post after post after post after post now hear me when I say Get this thought out of your mind. Get the thought that I'm saying you shouldn't post your hard times. Just take that thought and just ditch it. Because that's not what I'm saying. So let's get that one aside and hear my heart. Sometimes the, these situations, when especially when they come out of nowhere and we're not prepared for them and we didn't see them coming and we, and we just do not feel capable of handling the magnitude of them, they can begin to chip away at our confidence in this life. They can begin to chip away at the truths that we already know to be real about us. They can begin to consume us. And so while the, uh, three weeks ago you were talking about the summer is gone and the fall is gone and now here's winter and, and what you had for dinner and, and, and celebrating some crazy thing that's happened in your life to day after day after day after day after day. All that can be thought of or spoken of or, or, or felt is this traumatic situation that you're going through. It can begin to consume us. Now, that's the sucky part, okay? The awesome part is that you are so jam-packed full of Power! Your very life is vibrating at an, the most magnificent wavelength that is sheer energy and volume and marvelous magnitude. It's who you are. You are power. It's, it's just who you are. And so that's the good news, okay? But when you mix... Who you are, which is what you think and what you speak and what you feel and then allow to manifest out of you to be consumed with illness and loss and, and feelings of lack and feelings of devastation and frustration and hopelessness. When those two marry the, the, the power in you and the consumption, the consuming power of your situation, when they become one, we actually begin to feed the very thing that we don't want to keep happening. Again, I am not at all saying that we shouldn't share our hard time. I'm just encouraging you to recognize that you can totally manifest extreme things in your life, including the prolonging of heartache, the lengthening of illness, the strengthening of bitterness, the complete and total ignoring of forgiveness, you are full of the ability to destroy your life. Now that could seem like some really crappy news unless we take the time to then acknowledge that fact 
and choose to go through what you're going through. I ain't telling you not to feel your heartache and not to feel your pain. Listen, we're human. It's natural to experience something bad happening and to feel bad, okay? <laughs> it's normal. We have emotions and feelings and thoughts. But to then also acknowledge that we are full of the ability to then set ourselves right side up in perspective and proximity to what it is that's going on in front of us and to handle what's going on in here so that what's going on out here doesn't become what we choose for our reality. You know, I think back about a couple of situations. I think about losing my granddaughter. Now, when I say losing, of course, I don't believe that death or anything else can ever separate us because life cannot be snuffed out. But when I say losing, I mean she was no longer right here in my hands, her little one-pound, one-ounce self. Um... I remember going through that and the pain of that situation. Now, I don't have it all figured out, okay? So this isn't a, whoa, Jennifer's got it, got it going on and she knows how to handle bad times because, listen, I can totally lose it with the best of them. But I remember going through that and having these thoughts of this storm that was brewing right in front of me and, and my option to let it consume me, but to see it for what it was and to cling to the truth, which is that. I knew her reality, and I knew my reality, and I knew that the two were the same. And so I allowed myself to feel what I was feeling, and I cried, and I screamed, and I shouted, and I punched pillows, and I laid on the couch for a couple of days, just just overwhelmed with, with grief. Um and heartache. Um, but in the middle of that, I kept clinging to the reality that she wasn't gone. That while she was no longer in my hands, she was absolutely still interwoven into every fiber in my being. Now, did I get it all right? Maybe not. But did I shorten and um, take away some of the power of what I could have went through in that? Absolutely. You know, this time last year, um, some of you who I haven't been connected with for very long might not know. Um, but I was married. I got married. Um, and, and I really believed with my whole heart it even like still kind of causes my chest to kind of clench up thinking about it. I believe in my whole heart that it was forever. And when I said my vows, oh, I meant them. And I knew what I, I, knew what I was committing to. That I was going to walk it out. And my plan was that that was going to be forever. And about seven months later... Um, the very person that I had committed to and um, loved so much and was so sure was going to return that love and commitment didn't. And that was a wild trip. Do you hear me? I went through every emotion in the book. I had thoughts and feelings that felt like they were swirling around me. And, and there were moments when I couldn't catch my breath. And I couldn't believe that my beautiful plan had fallen apart. But at the same time, I knew that my reality had not changed, which is that I am love. I deserve love. And love belongs to me. And that if that wasn't it for me, then man, <laughs> holy smokes, what is for me is going to be mind and heart boggling. And so I went through it and I experienced the pain and I experienced the feelings of 
loss, even though I hadn't lost a single thing. And then I continue to focus on the reality and the truth of my wholeness, my completeness, my deserving of love, yada, 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 all that stuff I just mentioned. I say all that to say, whatever you are going through tonight, I just want to challenge you. I just want to dare you to try something different. I just want to double dog dare you to consider the strength and might that lives and dwells in your being and change up the script just a little bit. Go through what you're going through and then take a hold of those reins and you call out what it is that you want. And you call out, call out what it is that you need. And you claim what it is that needs to happen in front of you. And even if all the details don't fall in line exactly as you've laid them out, you continue to stand on the truth that you are valuable, you are worthy. In the core of your spirit, in the core of your spirit being, you're already healed. You are not withering away at the hands of something that this earth has produced. Your heart, your soul, who you are is okay. Flip the script. Marry the truth of who you are to the reality of what's going to take place and then watch and see if a few things don't change in front of you. You are so good. You are so strong. And you are full of power. That was a little bit of rambling back and forth. But I knew there was some stuff I needed to, to share with you tonight. And I hope that somewhere in the middle that it spoke to even one person. Just one. Not a million not 10 million, one. If one person felt a prick in the core of their being and they try it and it works, because I promise it works, then that makes this video worth it. You matter to me and I love you. Word. <laughs>